Uh, so I see you got some old school stuff right here. Is that what you prefer to work on or is it anything uh, you specialize in? Yeah, this is kind of my baby. That's been a, a four year project. It's a 48 Chevy. Um, I do love older vehicles. I've got a lot of toys. Um, love that. I love that. But yeah, I, I came from my, my previous employer was Celine Performance. So I'm used to working on a lot of high performance stuff. Um, I've got a bunch of Jeeps, so I can do off-road performance. I mean, anything. What type of Jeep? You doing like a... Um... I've got two Wranglers and then that Grand Wagoneer right there that I'm about to take the engine to the machine shop today. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you do a lot of the work on it yourself? I do a lot of it? work. Everything? Everything. Oh, yeah, that's dope, man. For real. For real. Yeah, I like it, man. It's weird because I do a lot of side work, so okay. there's times where people drive by and the doors are closed, but uh, normal business hours, like Monday through Friday, you know, I get here about 9, usually leave about 4 or 5. Okay. Uh, but if the doors are closed, just call me. Uh, it's the best thing to do because I still do work for my previous job at Selene Performance. Uh, so there's times I'm in Round Rock putting on a supercharger or something like that for them and I'm not here but if you have a question you can just call me and there's a number on the building no uh my phone number is five what's poppin it's kg go hard and i'm back with another video you already know what y'all about to get man tune in with your boy it's about to go crazy be going up every day and if you ain't like to subscribe do so now because it's about to jump Yeah, I see it, man. 10 minute oil change. And I just pulled up, man. You know, early bird get the worm with me, man. Straight up. You know, man, I'm already getting the truck together, man. So I might as well go ahead and get an oil change. And just so I happen to be riding by and seeing this guy was open. Um, yeah, so, you know, he came and get us together, though. So. Yeah, I see it, man. It's a. Uh, Y'all see the name right there? Fides Fidesna. I'm actually gonna let him tell y'all himself. Um, but yeah, that's what it is, man. We right here on Rancier. Colleen Elementary School right across the street. Advance right across the street too, so we do business with Advance. Advance brought the parts right across the street like fast too, man. So um, if it's not here, um, I'm pretty sure you could get it quick. You know, there's Advance everywhere, and there's one literally like you see. That's the Advance van right there, and it's in route back to the store. So yeah, and Advance. Every, let me show y'all so y'all can see exactly how far it actually is. But we got a buy rider right here. I see the sign. You know what I'm saying? So what type of service is that? You feel me? If you can't get, if you can go there and you can't get it, he got it right across the street, man. So the chances of him not being able to service you are slim. Yep. It's building relationships, man. Straight up. But I told y'all, man, you got to get up and get to work. On the real. My boy was up and he was on it. My boy was up and he was on it, man. So... going on what's your name man where we at tell them what you're doing my name's eric uh this is finesse automotive uh just doing an oil change on your car today um been here since november bought the building in november 
Uh, just trying to get business in the area. Uh, we're at 1807 East Rancier Avenue in Killeen. Uh, been a master technician for 20 years. Can work on anything, do anything, diesels, boats, I mean, you name it. Um, yeah. You do, you're giving me a lot more than I expected. Trying to, just trying to trying to rebuild the, the, the business here at this location and, and you know, build my business. Okay, this is your first location for this actual business? Yes, first time? Yep. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yep. Better we catch you on the ground floor, man. Well, so I see you got some old school stuff right here. Is that what you prefer to work on or is it anything uh, you specialize in? Yeah, this is kind of my baby. That's been a, a four year project. It's a 48 Chevy. Um, I do love older vehicles. I've got a lot of toys. Um, love that. I love that. But yeah, I, I came from my, my previous employer was Celine Performance. So I'm used to working on a lot of high performance stuff. Um, I've got a bunch of Jeeps, so I can do off-road performance, I mean, anything. What type of Jeep? You doing like a... Um... I've got two Wranglers and then that Grand Wagoneer right there that I'm about to take the engine to the machine shop today. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you do a lot of the work on it yourself? I do all Most of, of it? Work. Everything? Everything. Oh, yeah, that's dope, man. For real. For real. Yeah, I like it, man. <laughs> yeah, I was out there looking at it, though. Can you say it again? Because I don't think I know. Fidesna. 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 Okay, motorcycle work too, huh? Yeah, I've got three, well that's my wife's scooter, but I've, I've got two Harleys at home. Uh, I work on everything. Um, I heard you say you're taking that to the motor shop, so would you get it boarded out or something? Uh, uh, the engine was locked up, so yeah, I'm just taking it to get it cleaned up and then I'll order everything and get it reassembled hopefully by next week. Okay, bet. All right, do you have any toys that you normally bring around here though? I mean, uh, I'm just looking all, for content purposes now, though. They're all in my house. So, like, both of my Jeep Wranglers are at home. I've got a 86 C30 Dually, one-ton Dually, square body Chevy. Uh, that's going to be coming up here. I was hoping to bring it today, but I couldn't. Um, you know, like I said, we've got Harleys. There's our motorhome back there. Got all kinds of stuff. And you work on those, too, motorhomes? Yep. yep. Wow. Do diesels, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, man, you got a lot of space back here too, man. Yeah. For real. It was actually, it was a motor mechanic it was shop like as well? oil, lube, and tires. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Trying to get away from the tires and do more actual maintenance on vehicles. You got any other employees? Nope, just me. You like it like that or you want you want something to change? I do, but I don't. Uh, there's times where I'm overwhelmed and I, I feel like I need somebody. Uh, just, I need to get to the point to where I can afford to hire somebody but for i sure. do love money myself so it's hard to give it away for sure for sure <laughs> for sure but once i'm for at sure. that point where i'm i i just can't handle the workflow then i have to bring somebody in when it comes to the knowledge of the work that need to be in here do you need somebody that's uh more i need somebody technical that, or yeah, somebody just like because you only have two hands uh i would prefer somebody that has experience that way i'm not having to babysit them for for say mm -hmm. uh, i can just let him go and be confident that they can get it done. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it's the right person, then yeah, I can definitely train somebody. That's what's up, man. Uh, I mean, a lot of people that I know, or a lot of people I meet down here, though, you know, they they get experience from the channel, but they pick up the experience on the job, you know, like yeah. a lot of times, just like I do this. All, yeah. It's all hands on. Yeah, for sure. For sure, man. All right, man. So uh, let's talk about this specific one. So this right here, car, you said that it comes for, it calls for uh, full synthetic. Zero twenty full synthetic. Zero twenty full synthetic for this particular car, and that's more costly oil than it's, more yeah, other. Yeah, the, the filter is the same basically, but the oil is more expensive. Okay. It's kind of a rare. Not many cars use the zero twenty. Most of them are like ten thirty, five thirty, you know, different weights. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, for some reason they decided to come out with the zero twenty. Hmm. Okay. Learn something new every day. Okay. What we got? We got. Uh, what's this? Uh, it's a church. That's all I know. Okay. So yeah. Next door right here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're turning it into, but they've been working on it, trying to get power and everything over there. I see people working on it every once in a while, but no idea what it's gonna be. A bike rider across the street. You know what that is? Not a clue. Wow. I see people working in there every once in a while, but no idea what they even is. And in a car lot. I yeah, saw Yeah. Okay. You said, uh, you, are you from Colleen? You still in, you still in Round Rock? Yep. Wow. Yeah, my signage up there is, is uh, 
is changing. I've got all the new signs. I just haven't had time to put them up. Yeah, I was, I, that's why I want to make sure that that was your sign. Because I know yeah, you say you just got the, the spot, one, though. The one by the street is mine. Yeah. Okay. I've got all new signs that are going up. Basically, I'm going to pull those down, put vinyl stickers over them. And put them back, back up. Back yeah, Amy got the same fit in the bracket, all that. Go back up there. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, save money. You ain't got to spend it. For sure, man. I wish you much success, man. For real. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we got another subscriber to the team, man. Yep, yeah, I'm KG Gohard. All the subscribers, we, you know, we call it the Gohard gang. You know, we all in it just supporting everybody, man. Push your brand. A lot of people, first time business owners, we encourage everybody that if they got a passion to go for it. You feel me? What was it again? KG Gohard? Uh, K-A-E-J-E-E. -E. Uh, press enter there. It might go straight to there. And then it's go hard, but K A E J A E. Yep. J E E J E E. Sorry. Back, back, back. What? Oh, J E E. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> go hard. Yep. Space go space hard. No, yep. I just got thirteen hundred subscribers too. Now you have thirteen oh one. Uh, matter of fact, you might actually be thirteen ten. 1.3 yeah um yeah it's, yeah it's it how different you. on there yep uh-huh so i appreciate it man but um those are shorts if you go back i actually got something interesting going on right now a 18 wheeler tire just blew out on the expressway and blew out my windshield in this car right here um it happened on february 9th have yet to hear from the insurance company the truck uh -huh. the, the, the the trucker pulled over like he was gonna uh, uh exit like to help the uh, like, like you're supposed to mm -hmm. and go kept like, going like, i'm sitting on the side of the road get away like that no so i Work my way back into traffic. Mind you, I got to get in because I'm, I'm, I'm right here by the fast lane of traffic. I'm right into traffic right off the wall. So I had to get back in there and I punch him down. And that's when my recording started. And I'm catching him. I catch him. I shoot all the way up there. Boom. Beep, 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 beep. Pull over, bro. What you want? Pull over. Pull over. He ain't pulling over. So I got the footage and I was able to record. Yeah, didn't even I might happen. I'm going to show you something. That one there? Nope. That's when they actually came. How many hours did I put on the fender? You said five. Uh, I thought I said six. I didn't see that. What the hours abbreviate for? Um, how much labor time to put to in? Take off, to take it out. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you said typically if I have a shop already in mind, it would speed the process up some? It kind or? of helps sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will tell you though, most of the clean is two months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the faster you can call somebody and get on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sure I can find somebody faster than that though. Even if I got a lot of clean, I can get some. I, I need the car fixed, so I mean. I I know. I'm I'm. I mean, you can. That's great. Yeah. But I'm just because with the hail and land passes in Salado, it's pretty much it's it's made everybody backed up. Um, I mean, Belton almost, I mean, even Belton's like a month and a half. So what if I can get the windshield somewhere, right? And then outside of the other damage, it's still the, the insurance will split it up or does it have to be all done in one spot? I will, one time? I will tell you, hypothetically, if you were to do the windshield, you need to go through Safe Life mm -hmm. and give them the Safe Life the claim number and then they can handle that. Don't try to do the windshield like some other place. Insurance isn't worth the thing out with Safe Life for repairing glass. This particular insurance or all insurances? All insurance. Only Safe Life. Uh huh. Okay. They're the industry standard for A, for pricing, and B, getting out there and getting it repaired. It's been going on since February 9th. I still have not. I just fixed the window myself. As you want. You know it. And we offer a finance for those people who can afford the, that. That's what I want you to do, talk to them, tell them. Okay, and we offer a finance for all our customers who can afford 
paying cash, okay, and it's very easy finance, okay. You can pay bi-weekly, monthly, on the first hundred days, no interest fee. It's very easy. Okay, good. Yep. All right, so they just call and talk to you, or you got a, you got a website no. or anything? Yes, yeah, it's in our website. You can just go to Snap On Finance and inside our website, okay, they can apply. It's very easy. It's not going to be takes more than 30 seconds, and they will know if they will get approved and how much amount they're going to be approved for, up to 5000 Good business to know, man. So you can tell them better than I can, man. You know what? What's there, bro? Yeah, uh, you had some shades in there. I put them in the middle. It's under console top. I wanna break up to that. My man, appreciate you, bro. I'm KG too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a YouTuber. If you watch YouTube at all, man, you're gonna hand document this and tell that whole story about what happened to my windshield and all of that too. <laughs> um go down a little bit. Right there. Just the video what happened in. Yeah. So if you go to eight minutes right there in that video, it it, it it'll show you from when I started recording after the blowout. But I chased him down, pulled up next to him, he kept slowing the speed up, just going faster and all that. He wouldn't let me get to him. He's still driving on the expressway. He's driving extremely slow. Like, can y'all see? Like, you can't even see him in my rearview mirror. Like, wow, man. And then uh, I trailed him, but I it had an Oklahoma plate on the truck, so I'm thinking the whole time I gotta go to, I'm gonna have to trail him to Oklahoma. So I got all the information I did and called the police. And like I said, it happened February 9th. I still have no resolution, no kind. I mean. It's interesting. So if you got some free time or whatever, man, I, you know what I'm saying, just get in there, skim it a little bit. But here's eight minutes right here. Mm -hmm. 804. Yep. So it just happened. So it, means it happened in this lane. He pulled over. I mean, I pulled over on this lane instantly when it happened. He pulled over on this side, like further up. And then after that, um, he just took off. Windshield out, man, and he's trying to skate off. So, I'm on I don't know what he think this is, but I'm trying to get him real quick. Get everything I can off this truck, man. I tracked him down, so from that point it go live. Yep, and it's been messy every since, man. God, what a mess. Super, super. All right, man. Well, <sighs> yeah, I won't keep you. I gotta run this over the machine shop. It's all good. So. Hey, thank you. No, I appreciate it. Thank yep. you. Because I do a lot of side work, so okay. there's times where people drive by and the doors are closed. But uh, normal business hours, like Monday through Friday, you know, I get here about nine. Usually leave about four or five. Okay. Uh, but if the doors are closed just call me uh, it's the best thing to do because I still do work for my previous job at Selene Performance uh, so there's times I'm in Round Rock putting on a supercharger or something like that for them and I'm not here but if you have a question you can just call me and there's a number on the building no uh, my phone number is 712-8798 uh, or you can look up my business Fidesta Automotive here okay. and it'll that's you good. Can, I'm glad I got you to you see it, though. I'm gonna edit online. it for you anyway. Yeah, you can chat with me online through Google and all that, so it's it makes it easier. I just I hate that people drive by and they see the doors closed and mm -hmm. think that the business is closed. But yeah, it's not. It's usually I've got family to deal with or I'm doing other work. You know, you, you only can be in one place stuff. at a time, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah one place I'm at a time. Only one man. I can only be. Yeah, yeah like you said, sure. one place at one time. Yeah. So, Even if you um. For something like that, even if you get somebody here that can't just actually do the work, but it just yeah. a body just that could, to be here. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. really what I need, but finding somebody that's reliable that can be here when I'm not, 
That's yeah. hard to do. For sure. I mean, yeah, that's where the trust part come in at, though. Yeah. I deal with that a lot, too, though. I got you know, a lot of money and tools yeah. and other stuff in yeah. here, and it's yeah. like, I got to, you know, I'd like to hire a friend, but then you run into that mm -hmm. problem, too. Yeah, so, family almost the same way, too, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure, though. Business is tricky, though. Business is Business tricky. Business is tricky. I wish you success, though, man, for real. Right. Yeah, you just said November. I didn't realize that's a few months ago. Yeah, it was November 15th is when we closed, and uh, I moved in immediately. Immediately. So... Right to it, though, man. All right, man. We're yeah. going to be checking on you, man, straight up. Cool. Thank All you right, so bet. much. Yeah.